Bust down. Bust down. everybody and welcome back to that little type of channel if this is your first time tuning in thank you so much for clicking on this video i hope that you guys enjoy it as you can tell from the title you guys today we are gonna be doing a an oxtail ball y'all an oxtail ball and not even gonna count i have been wanting to do this for a minute but now is the perfect time now was the perfect time to do this ball. So we just finna, we finna get into all that today. I have my boyfriend with me, y'all. Say up? hey, Tron. So yeah, we are about to go out and purchase this, um, this grocery that we finna put in here. I ain't gonna tell y'all everything that I'm putting in the ball. Just know, it's finna ride. It's finna ride now. Baby, you making some macaroni too? You want some? Mm, not too. I got like, it, so it's just a ball, you really gotta. I mean, if you want macaroni, I can make macaroni. See, see, that's what I'm talking about. Make you a side dish. You know. I make you a small seat. Okay, we are about to, like I said, we finna go to the grocery store, and we gonna check back in with y'all once we get out. We came to the butcher shop first and they ended up having oxtails. So that's a plus. We are still gonna have to go to the grocery store to get the rest of the stuff that we are gonna put in the bowl. But I was glad that they did have the oxtails in here. That's all he do all day. That's all he do. In a group chat. But yeah, we got the oxtails. I'm happy. Y'all can't tell, but I'm happy. So, I'm not sure if you guys could hear me while I was in there, but we did find some oxtails, and we got a good little bit for just us. We are about to go to Kroger. Kroger Publix, babe. Uh, we can go to we can go to Kroger. I, I know Kroger probably have everything. Everything. Okay, so we are about to go to Kroger to get the rest of the stuff. you guys so we got everything we needed out of kroger one-stop shop i'm so glad about that all the cutest thing happened while i was in the store oh my goodness this little boy um was with his mom and dad and he saw his teacher y'all he saw his teacher and um and the lady his teacher looked like she was finna cry i was like oh my goodness these folks really miss their students I really miss that students. And then the little boy was finna run. He was like finna run to the lady and hug him. And he hesitated and he looked at his mama. And she was like, it's okay, you're allowed to, go ahead. And y'all, when they hugged, I like to cry. I almost cried. That was so sweet. That was so sweet to me. Okay, so boom, it is now 12 o'clock. 
um and we're not even home yet the oxtails are i'm slow cooking the oxtails i always cook my oxtails in a crock pot so um it's 12 now we'll probably end up eating this food around like at like 4 30 ish 5 ish depending on how fast we get home so yeah um yeah i have to let those cook and we are gonna get in the kitchen and do everything with y'all we got a couple more stops to make and then we are gonna head back to the house and we are gonna start prepping these oxtails for the crop pot. all right y'all so we are back home and i'm really not finna do too much talking i'm finna let these pots talk for me period you hear me it's gonna get this percolating Okay, you guys, so it is finally time to get these oxtails cooking. The first thing that I'm going to do is pour some extra virgin olive oil into my pan. And I'm going to put my stove on medium-low heat. I also add just a tablespoon of butter to my olive oil as well. I also went ahead and cleaned my oxtails, so in this step, you will see me placing them on the cutting board after I have cleaned them off, and I also pat them dry so I can go ahead and begin cooking these bad boys, okay? One thing that I love to do is brown my oxtails on top of the stove before I place them in the crock pot. It gives them flavor and it also gives them like a golden brown crust and I love that on my oxtails. I also lightly seasoned them with the Himalayan pink salt just to add a little more flavor. I cook those oxtails for about three minutes on each side and I make sure I'm washing them because you do not want to burn your oxtails. I really only cook them long enough just so they can literally like turn brown. And when you flip them, don't forget to season the other side as well. After the oxtails are done cooking to my liking, I go ahead and transfer them to the crock pot. There isn't anything in my crock pot yet, but best believe <laughs> they is coming. Okay, so I don't know how you all like to make your oxtails, but we love Jamaican style oxtails. So these are the ingredients that I use in my sauce and I will have those listed in the description box. Okay, so another benefit of cooking your oxtails on the stove top first is getting the flavor from those oxtails and using that to really season and add flavor to your sauce that you're gonna add back into the oxtails. Y'all, I love doing this. I chopped up some onions and I chopped up some sweet peppers to put inside of my sauce. You can chop up whatever vegetables you like, whether that be onions or garlic or anything. Chop up your vegetables and then just add them to the pan that you cook your oxtails in. Once those vegetables have cooked to the point where they look like you can eat them out of the pan, I like to add a little bit of minced garlic to the mix just to give it even more flavor. And once I add the garlic to the mix, I only let that cook probably about two minutes and then I go ahead and add the rest of my ingredients. Alright you guys, so the next part of the video will be me showing you the step-by-step -step ingredients that I add into the oxtail sauce. I will have the very detailed list of this with the measurements and everything in my description box.
once it begins to simmer, I let it simmer for about seven or eight minutes. And then it is finally time to add that sauce to those oxtails, y'all. Like, oh, it's about to go down. <laughs> it's about to go down. So I make sure that all of my oxtails are covered in the sauce. I'm going to put my crock pot on high and we are going to let these oxtails cook for about four and a half hours. Alright you guys, so we just put the oxtails in the crock pot. As you all just saw, they are going to cook for like four and a half hours. When it's like an hour and a half left, I'm going to come back in here and I am going to start cooking. And by that time, Tron will be ready to come back over here and get in the kitchen with me. Um, Quarantine, y'all know he over there on the game. Um, I'm about to go ahead and wash these little bit of dishes that we do have. And we will check back in with you guys in a couple of hours. Alright you guys, so I just came over to check. I just came over to check on our oxtails and see how they are cooking. They basically cooked themselves, you guys. But I just wanted to make sure everything was everything. And they are looking amazing. They look so good already. I'm so excited about this. We have about three more hours that they're supposed to cook. I will be back with you all in just a few so we can start cooking the other things that are gonna go in our bowl. Yes, these are all the ingredients that I use to season my water. Yes, I am seasoning my water because I want all my food to taste like something, period. So yeah, and I forgot my real lemon. I had to use lemon juice. But this is just the water that I am adding my potatoes and my corn to and also my mussels as well. And in this step, you guys, it is finally time for me to make my shrimp. And I am making garlic butter shrimp. It simply consists of garlic and butter, literally. I am about to go ahead and add my shrimp to the mix. I only cook my shrimp for about three to four minutes on each side. Only cooking it long enough to let it get pink because I'm going to add it to something else. And you guys will see that in just a minute. step you guys are going to see me add my shrimp to the mixture as well um i wanted to do this just so my shrimp could get all of that flavor from the oxtail sauce and from the oxtails like yes and the shrimp is gonna end up cooking itself just a little bit more while it is in the pot so that is why i did not cook my shrimp as long as i usually would have about to plate everything up and then we are going to dig off in this yeah forgot to show y'all i already made the butter as well and we have not eaten all day once again i don't know why every time we do a seafood boil we haven't eaten but we haven't eaten so i'm gonna plate everything up and then we finna eat, period. We finna eat, y'all. Oh, 
Okay, y'all, so I wore Ops Tails. Okay, y'all, so we are finally, well, I'm finally done cooking because he didn't do absolutely anything today. He ain't do nothing. Ugh, and our Ops Tails fell off of the bone. We usually don't cook them that, like, until the point where they fall off the bone, but I mean, they just don't have to fall off the bone day. That's not a bad thing. However, we just like to have, we like to see what the meat that we bought. You know what I'm talking about? Anyway, so we're about to go ahead and follow up in this. Oh, we're gonna say grace. Okay. Lord, thank you for this food that we're about to receive. Lord, let it be used for the nourishment of our bodies. Lord, thank you for the steak. Amen. Amen. Boom. Time to eat. I can eat whatever. Yeah. Let me see what your sauce is. This is my first time making it, but y'all, I've been on an oxtail boil for a minute. Okay. Is it right here? Yeah. Yeah. I've been on an oxtail boil for a minute. Oxtail. Now, we got to do a thumbnail. But I told you earlier, we ain't ate all day again. I don't know. Last time, last time we did the boil, we ain't, we had ate all that day either. Yeah. I don't know why it be falling like that. <clears throat> but it really be falling like that. And y'all, this is so... This is so good. Ooh, child. So good. That was definitely good, brother. Is it? Mm -hmm. Yay, I had to razzle dazzle it. Um, I haven't really been cheating on my diet, though. And this isn't really a cheat. That's the only thing that's... Um, I haven't been eating any carbs. I haven't. I really haven't eaten any carbs in a minute. So, But I'm going to bite off on these potatoes because... What? It's too hot right now. It's too hot. But I got a lot of meat over here. Is that what you want? Hmm. I just know you can fall off on the tail or two. Trying not to get too full because I want to eat it. Like, yeah, trying to eat too fast. Mm -hmm. I need no help. Yeah, I'm that good. I done had this waist trim on all day. About time to come up out of it. This is really, really good. Um, I don't really know why I wanted to make an oxtail bowl so bad. Um, Made, I probably made oxtails for him like what like five or six. Yeah, five or six. Mm -hmm. I done made oxtails for him probably about five, probably about four or five times. And it was something that we were slick eating, you know, pretty good at one point. It was something that we was eating pretty good at one point. And we love seafood. He got me on seafood pretty heavy too. Florida boy. So yeah. yeah. 
shell. I just want to put it together. And it is so good. Let me pop this back. She's going to pop this upside down. Girl, so, I really just wanted to put it together, and I'm not even gonna lie. I'm gonna get oh man, mm. I'm getting full already. And we just started eating. See, that's the thing. Like, once you change your eating habits, once you change your eating habits, style, it's hard to like go back. Well, it's not hard to go back to your old ways, but your body ain't just gonna up and let you eat crazy. You know what I'm saying? If you know me, you know I'm a potato. I'm a potato eater now. For real. Mm. You like everything? Yeah. I'm really mad. I, the I potatoes feel. just hot. Yeah, they are. Spicy? Right, no, nah, temperature. Oh, yeah, 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 they are. I'm mad I, I still feel like the bone, no cap. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I nah, ain't. A lot of meat that far up the bone, you know. That let it know it's been cooked right and stuff. And tell them. I know what you mean. Like, yeah. you be liking to, like, you know, taste the bone and, like, mm. Eat the meat off the bone. Yeah. I just want to bite into it. Try. Fall off on me a corn. You got one there yet? Dang, I had you got one bite of it. That's sweeter than the other corn we had bought. Last time? Yeah. I don't know what was up with the other corn. finna go a couple rounds and he's probably really finna fall off at my food. I ain't even gonna cap. Um, but yes. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in to this video. I truly hope you guys enjoyed it. If you will, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel while you're here. Don't forget to thumbs up this video, you guys, and please do not forget to tap on that bell so you don't miss a single upload on that little type of channel. But yeah, you guys, that is all for this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. See y'all. And he's still eating. <laughs>